So this is an update for day, for day three of this marriage fast. And so, yeah, like, as usual, uh, my consecration for this year is to pray for three to four hours, but starting at 3 a.m. So I have to get up at 3 a.m. and pray for at least an hour. And then, so, so I did that. I prayed for two hours so far. Um, but when I woke up around, it was like 1.30 or so in the morning, um, I had, yeah, I woke up from a dream. And I wrote down the dream so that I could remember it. I, I write down all, almost all of my dreams if they're important enough. If they're not really all that important, I don't write it down. Um, but I also write down any dream that is reoccurring, which I don't... The, the dreams that I have that are reoccurring now are good dreams like if god's trying to say something to me he'll say it multiple times so that i'm like oh okay i get it but i used to have reoccurring demonic dreams that happened on repeat just all the time and but i don't have those anymore but i do get you know attacked uh, it it revved up around the time where God was like, quit, quit your job. So I, I know that uh, the unclean spirits, the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness in high places can see in the spirit uh, a portion, I'm sure, of what God has given me or what God is doing in my life. And so things that I can't see just yet. Um, but yeah, so I realized the spiritual warfare, uh, pretty much started then, but this dream. So the dream is, well, what I wrote was day three of marriage fast. I had a dream of a group of people, including my future husband, planning out my wedding proposal. A guy came up to me and said, I'm in charge of planning. It's not ready yet. In a little while so it and and then the, that was basically the dream and then after that I wrote so it looked like they were still preparing for something yeah and then I, I had a vision I almost fell back asleep when I received a vision of a giant alligator with the attire of royalty on and it looked like a princess so I, I'm like, okay, that's a, a alligator, but it's a principality. It's, it's a princess. You know, principalities are princes and princesses in the spirit realm. Uh, and they can be demonic or they can be of God. And this one was demonic. And so what happened was, it said, I, I wrote, and it got taken away in chains and it was dropped onto something. It was like dropped onto something black or dark. And this thing swallowed it up. <laughs> and I was like, thank you, Jesus. Because I literally just prayed for whatever evil there was blocking my proposal to be swallowed up in Jesus' name. And then... I had that vision right before I fell back to sleep. So hallelujah, God is awesome. God is amazing. And this is just one thing that he's doing, <laughs> that he's allowing me to see. And so now, uh, today, uh, this morning I asked the Lord if he could provide for me some food, some money, mostly money because I need to pay these bills. But yeah, I mean, he's going to, obviously. Uh, at some point, this isn't forever. I know that he's already reassured me about that. And he wouldn't have said, D do this online. <laughs> and I'm just gonna embarrass you. <laughs> No, he's not going to do that. 
but at some point, or honestly, I didn't expect that dream to happen last night. I always hear from God, like every day in the word I hear from God, but also I hear from him in dreams and visions. If it's not a dream, it's a vision almost every single day. And I wasn't, I just wasn't expecting that to happen like right away after I was just like, okay, yeah, I'm just going to document this. And wow, just amazing. He's so interesting. <laughs> He's so cool. Uh -oh. What else? Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, I just, I'm about to eat some roasted veggies. I, well, roasted carrots. I love roasted veggies. But anyways, I just wanted to say first that, I'm, first and foremost, we are as born again believers in Christ Jesus. Our marriage is to the Father first. So whenever someone goes on a marriage fast or a fast at all, it is to humble ourselves before the Father and to make sure that we are seeking His face, His kingdom, His righteousness, so that everything else will be added unto us. And that is what I am doing. I'm seeking His face and... Everything else that he told me I can have is going to be added unto me. Last thing I wanted to say is that one thing I've been meditating on is the verse Isaiah 50 and 7 because it's helped me to be able to not let what other people say bother me or change my mind and go against what God has told me to do and what God has told me is right. And so I'm going to read it. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore, therefore <clears throat> shall I not be confounded. Therefore, have I set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. I'm going to read it again. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore, shall I not be confounded. Therefore, have I set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. The word confounded. In a dictionary, the regular dictionary means I shall not be overthrown by the enemy. I shall not be defeated. I shall not be proven wrong. And I shall not be a uh, cause to be surprised or confused. Because why? I know what God said. I I heard him clearly and I am in obedience to him. Even though my life may look crazy because <laughs> I don't have money for anything right now. But I'm being obedient and in my obedience, God is there. God is working on my behalf. God is preparing a table in the presence of my enemies. Uh and also, I want to say that my, my future, my promises, my breakthroughs, uh, they are all forged on the altar of God. And I spend time on the altar all throughout the day. The altar to the Lord is, is I'm, I'm on it all day. I'm seeking the Lord's face, uh. I'm being obedient in uh, not watching certain things, not listening to certain things. I'm being obedient um, when it comes time to just, you know, praise him, worship him. You know, just spending time with him. I, I'm on the altar. And in the altar, prayer is also where uh, basically... Everything that God promise us, promises us is birth. And you got to go to the altar. You got to go to the altar to forge what God has told you you can have and to birth it. Okay, bye.